Okay, is everything set for the party? Cups. Affirmative. Games. Pin the tail on the big dog? Check. Brian, how's the cake looking? The subscriber count keeps changing! This is impossible! Ugh. Why don't you just use the number two for our second anniversary? Uh-oh. I guess someone's getting quanky. Guess we are entering the terrible twos. I don't even know why I'm allowing this party to happen. Maybe because deep down you know we're an ideal team. A real dream match. Hey, you know what? You all know that's what this new show is about, right? This is the exact topic you're supposed to be working on right now. It's a show about dream matches. You know what? A show about the biggest dream match would be dope. Wish I could make that show. How have I gone these past two years without stabbing you? A dream match. Is this an episode about the American Dream versus Tommy Dreamer? The biggest dream match? Please, it's no contest who it should be about. It should be about two massive men getting it on in the ring. Action. Yeah. Are you sure you're still talking about wrestling? The biggest dream match should obviously be between two giants. Giant Silva and Giant Haystacks? Andre the Giant versus the Big Show. Oh, please. Do you have any idea how boring that would be? It would be like father versus son. Like Luke versus Vader. Luke Harper went against Big Van Vader? But instead of that whiny little p Luke Skywalker, we'd get two gigantic mountains of men colliding. Action! Oh, how about Elias versus Man Mountain Rock? Derek, that match would be a technical nightmare. How about a match with a little bit more skill involved? Oh, great. Here comes the smart jerk-off session. Again, are you sure you're still talking about wrestling? My dream match, Bret Hart versus Kurt Angle. <sighs> Those two goody goodies? If you think giant man meat on man meat action will be boring, what do you think you'll get out of those two vanilla midgets? Let's just hear him out. At least he's not going on an anime tangent again. It'll be like if Son Goku went up against Monkey D. Rufi from One Piece. See, Goku from Dragon Ball, he's like, you know, babyface, right? He's 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 martial artist, genius fighter, both of them are technically sound. Oh, anime! Big hair! How about Robbie E versus Zack Ryder? A dream match should feature genuine technique at its purest, most virginal form. Again, are you sure you're still talking about wrestling? Keep it in your pants. The problem with Brett and Kurt is that they can't draw a house for shit. We doing this? The new generation and TNA prove it. The two of them just didn't have what it takes to make big boy money. Sell out. Brian's right, you know. Without a packed house, the match would just fall flat. Exactly. You need marquee value, mainstream appeal, and an audience that's invested in the product. Full shizzle. Oh? And good, clean, technical wrestling can't do that? <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, no. No, it can't. At least Andre was a draw. On top of being a big, big man. Besides, how have we not said the correct answer yet? The biggest dream match of all time would have to be between the biggest stars of all time. Stardust versus Starman! Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Hulk Hogan. Eh, technically that already happened. Austin and The Rock went against the NWO. Oh, smart alert. Smart alert! Again! Ah. Woo woo! I mean a real one-on-one -on -one contest. On the grandest stage of them all. WrestleMania. The way it should be. It would be even better than Hulk versus The Rock. Oh! Rocky Mavia versus Don Morocco over who gets to be called The Rock. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to stop you right there, cause you're forgetting about chemistry. And you're forgetting about algebra! Wait, but what are we talking about here? The Hulkster and The Rock worked well together because they're both showmen. They have rapport. Is that French for rapper? Austin hated The Hulk. The match at any point in their careers would have been a letdown because they just can't work together. Yes, camaraderie is very important. How about a tag team match? What dumbass suggestion has your 
tiny female brain thought up of, huh? The Bushwhackers versus Too Cool? F woman, please. Fine, I will just think of another match then. Oh, how about the Dudley family versus the Wyatt family? Hmm, not bad, female brain. Now that would be quite the satisfying contest. F me with no lube. I'm in. Are you guys really that dumb? That already happened. What? No, it didn't, you dickhead. You're a liar. Yes, it did. No, I'm not. It was during the Dudley's last run with the WWE, you dumb bitch. Seriously, does nobody remember this? No. Who's Bray Wyatt? TLC 2015? Bubba Ray, Devon, Dreamer, and Rhino. They went against the Wyatt family. I have no memory of that whatsoever. And with all the wrestling out there today, it's impossible to watch it all. Some of these dream matches may have already happened, but you just don't know, don't remember, or don't care. Like I said when I sat on Santa's lap at the mall, this is harder than I thought. Maybe there are no good dream matches. No, no, no. No, I refuse to believe that there isn't a correct answer to this. Dave, you've been quiet all this time. What do you think the best fantasy matchup is? All right, now this is my kind of dream matchup. All right, now that I've assembled this perfect team, what are your ideas for the new show? Honestly, I think we should just give the people what they want. Doesn't matter. No matter what we do, it's just gonna suck anyway. Now, 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 I wouldn't say that. We can make it compelling as long as we make it fun and fill it with historical facts. Oh, and it should also be loaded with plenty of statistical analysis. All right, all right, I've heard all your ideas, and I- Hey, doesn't anyone care what we have to say? Precisely. We are being overlooked in this situation. I will not stand for it. Okay, I think that's everybody. Well, if no one has any objections, I think the topic of the Dream Match episode should focus on- Dave. 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 Da Dave. I was expecting a cutaway to the, f the matchup in your brain. Hello! What? Are you really going to leave us like this on a cliffhanger? <laughs> Dave, who turned off the lights? It's are you dark. Not, are you not going to answer the question? Why are there words in white font? We're lost without you, Dave. Dave, it's getting so dark. It's cold. It's getting cold. Sun's getting real low, Dave. <laughs> Sun's getting real low. Sun's getting real low, Dave. I can't see. You, you do it. I don't want to do I did, it. I, I did a lot of the talking you do last it. Sense. Like, no, I did a lot of talking. the talking last sense. Like, you have to do it. I don't, I don't talk It's your right. turn. But I don't talk right. Just tell people to, um, to fucking, what's, subscribe. Okay. To this channel and this channel only. Like, cool. no other YouTube channels. So you just did it. Did what? The end slate. What's an end slate? Are you f***ing with me right now? Are you f***ing with me right now? Are you f***ing with me? Are you f***ing with me? Are you... Hey! What? Hey! 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 It's for Subs April! Subscribe!